beautiful treasure chest. Thank all of you for helping to support uh, the children that are fortunate enough to be in Pathfinders, and even if you're not. I don't know if Miss Anita is going to be very upset with me today because my story involves food, but it's not what we always think of as the most nourishing food, but how many of you like to have desserts? Yeah, how about ice cream, uh, pie, cakes, chocolates? Oh, wow, okay, thank you. I knew that those hands would go up. I should have put mine up. My husband knows that I love desserts too, and today's potluck day, so there's going to be some choices. Our story today is about a little boy named Robert who always wanted to take the biggest desserts that were on the platter or that came around in the bowl or however it was served. So unfortunately, since he always picked the biggest cookie or the biggest piece of cake or whatever it was, um, his two brothers weren't too happy with him. Their names were Charlie and Ted. And Charlie and Ted would make fun of Robert because he was always greedy and selfish. And what? who can tell me what greedy and selfish, which are synonyms, they both pretty much mean the same thing. Rhea, what does that mean? That's right. So you don't think of others, you're not worried about whether somebody else gets any, or if they get a little bit, but so mother wasn't too happy with Robert. Uh, I don't think she got after uh, his brothers for uh, calling him names, but she probably did just a little bit, because that's what mommies do. But she was really concerned about the way Robert was going because this was a trend in his life. If there was a, a birthday party of a classmate or um, a neighbor or someone in the family, you could be sure that Robert would be the one to try to get there first or to be anxious to get the biggest and the best. Well, it just happened that his aunt, uh, his mother's sister in this case, uh, just lived down the street. And since mother was concerned, as all mothers are, and fathers too, can't leave them out, um, for how you act in front of other people, because you represent your family when you're at your aunt and uncle's house, your grandparents' house, or at a, a family, the family of a friend of yours. And so when you are selfish or greedy, and you act like that, then, you know, moms don't really like that because they want everyone to love you and like you and think you're a generous person and an unselfish person. Well, mother and aunt got together and decided to try to help Robert learn a lesson. So, aunt, in the story, the aunt isn't mentioned by name, but it really doesn't matter. Um, Auntie invited the family over for dinner, and since Robert knew that... Thank you. That was polite to sit down. Auntie was a good cook, and so they knew that... Uh, Robert knew that boy, it was going to be a great time to have a party over there. So the party happened, and he was getting more and more anxious because when it came dessert time, he was going to get the biggest. So they ate their greens. Anita, is that good? They ate their greens <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> and they ate their bread, and they had potatoes, and whatever they had for dinner. But Robert wasn't too concerned about that. He was anxious for dessert time. So first came these little individual pies that Auntie had made, and the crust looked just golden and flaky and beautiful. And 
He anxiously was awaiting for his turn. And of course, everybody was in on the secret. So Charlie and Ted and Auntie and Mother um, got their portion. And it just happened that the biggest pie was left on the plate. So that was because they knew there was something really special about that pie. And so uh, Robert was just beaming as he uh, took that pie and put it on his uh, placemat. And he dug into it, and the crust just fell in. It was a hollow pie. There wasn't anything in there. No apples, no blueberries, no strawberries, no banana cream, nothing. And it kind of took him aback, you know, he was a little surprised. And a little kind of got watery in the eyes, but he didn't want to embarrass his aunt or his mother, so he went ahead and ate the crust, and he was looking around, and. Everybody was really not paying much attention to, Char uh, to Robert because they knew the secret. So he went ahead and ate his crust, and then actually there were some cupcakes too. And they made sure that he got the plate in front of him first to see what he would pick because of his hollow pie. Well, he picked the biggest cupcake. It was piled high with a whipped cream frosting and some little sprinkles. It was so, looked so good. He thought, I'm going to, I'm going to get the biggest one this time because that other, that pie didn't work out so well. So he took the biggest cupcake and he took a big bite and everybody else was digging in by then. And it just tasted, it looked beautiful, but inside it was bitter. It just wasn't good at all. And he's really kind of getting upset then, like something's up, but he didn't want to let anybody know. So he just tried to get through it, even though it tasted terrible. And then came the tray of chocolates. And he decided that right in the middle, the two biggest chocolates, he was going to make up for the pie and make up for the cupcake. And he got those two big chocolates. And he took them both, and he took a, a big, I think he probably put it completely in his mouth at once. And oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. And he took the second one, and he thought, well, the second one can't be horrible, too. But it was worse than the first one. So he realized something, something was up, but he didn't want to let anybody else know. So it was time to go home. And Charlie and Ted were talking about dinner. Wasn't dinner wonderful? Didn't everything just taste super? And Robert said, special, super, wonderful, what? And then it was kind of like the gig was up. And Charlie, his brother, said, you know what? Ours was really good. I think maybe if you wouldn't have taken the biggest ones of everything, then maybe you would have enjoyed dinner a lot better. Do you think Jesus wants you to be selfish and greedy and always take the most? Have you ever t eaten too many sweets and gotten a tummy ache? Yeah, yeah. And I was selfish when I was a little girl too. So. I just hope that you learned something from this story because I think Robert sure learned his lesson. And I bet the next time he let others have the biggest portion. Jesus wants us to be that way, doesn't he? Okay. Thank you. Go back to